Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year coding questions which were asked in Gen C Elevate hiring. Okay, so guys, the Gen C Elevate hiring is from 13th and 14th of August, and many of you were requesting me to make such videos of previous year coding questions which are asked in this role. So here I am with the video. So make sure you watch this video to the end and do not skip any part of this video because it is very important to know that whatever the <clears throat> questions which were asked previously, so that you can. Assume or you can prepare yourself by those questions only. Okay, and guys, previously also I have uploaded many of the coding questions of different companies, whether it is TCS, whether it is Infosys, any other company. Many of the coding questions as well as interview experiences have been posted on my channel on Code Bashers. I will give you this link of the channel in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to subscribe it because most of the videos will be posted in future. And make sure that you visit this channel and see that how many videos or what type of playlist suits you and you can prepare yourself for them okay and guys if you have not subscribed to the channel till now please subscribe it if you have not liked the video till now please like it and guys do share this channel among your friends and make them to subscribe it because more the subscribers are more i will get the motivation okay so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button okay so guys first i will be discussing the question then i will discuss the approach of that question and then in the later part of the video i will discuss the how to write the code for this particular question. So let's just start this video. So first of all, the question here is you need to generate a secret code. So you have to generate a secret code. Then how you will have to generate the secret code? It is given in the next section. That is you are given a long integer number. Long integer number is given to you. You will have to change the digits of the number to generate a secret code. How we will change the digits of the number? Here it is given the conditions. If the digit is negative, if the digit, digit is positive, then increase by one. Okay, if the digit is negative, then decrease by one. Okay, so let's just see with the help of example. We have a number 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. Now this is the input number. Now we have to generate a secret code using this number. So what we'll do, have to do, we'll have to change its digits. Now starting from the back, if you have a... Okay, so guys, sorry for the confusion. It is not positive and negative integers. It is even or odd integers. Okay, so if the digit is, digit is even, you will have to increase it by one. If the digit is odd, then you have to decrease it by one. Okay. Now four, five, six, seven, one is the input that is given to us. Now we are coming to one. Okay. So one is a odd number. So therefore we will decrease it by one. It will become zero. Now come into seven. Seven is again an odd number. We will decrease it by one. It will become six. Next is six. Six is an even number. It will increase it by one. That is, now it will become seven. Next is five. Five is a odd number. We will decrease it by one. It will now become four. Next is four. 4 is an even number, we will increase it by 1 and now it will become 5. So our answer will be 54760, so that is our output only, okay. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Now we will see the approach and the coding part of this particular question. Okay, so now let us discuss the approach. Okay, so we are given an input number that is 45671 and we have to give an answer as a secret code. So our answer variable, that is the final answer will be stored in this variable, that is answer variable. So we have initialized it with 0, okay. Now, we will on every step by iterating over this number, we will pick up the digit and we will update on the basis of uh, whether it is even or odd, we will update our answer variable. Okay. Now how our answer variable will be updated. So it will be updated using this formula. That is answer is equivalent to answer is equivalent to answer plus R into P. Okay. So answer, answer variable will be updated using answer to answer plus R into P where P will start with, with P will start with one and on every iteration that is on every uh, iteration of this numbers this p value will get updated that get multiplied by 10 okay now let's just see how this all thing all things will work okay so let's just start by uh, iterating over the input so first of all we will always we always iterate the number from behind so first number will be 1 r 1 okay so our r value will be 1 that is the last number we will take it will it is 1 now we will check if r is if r is odd or else r is even so if or else condition okay now first of all uh, if r is odd so what we'll do we will do r is equivalent to r minus 1 as we have seen that on, on odd numbers we will decrease the value of digit by 1 else when it is even then r is equivalent to r plus 1 okay this this thing i think you have got it ready right? we will start with this number now r is equal to 1 if r is odd we are doing r to r minus 1 else we are doing r is equal to r plus 1 now we have got the final r that is we have got the modified digit so now what we'll do we will update our answer variable we will update our answer variable which was initially zero we, we will update our answer variable using this formula that is answer is equal to answer plus r into p so what we'll do answer 
is equal to answer plus r into p. So currently answer is 0 plus what is r? r is 0 only because 1 was odd, 1 minus 1 was 0, 0 into what it is p. What is p now? It is 1 only. So here our answer variable again has got updated to 0 only. Okay, I think you have got it. Now our, after this updation, our answer value is still 0. Now after this, what we will do? We will do p is equal to p into 10. This, this thing will do. Now our p value has been updated to 10. Now what we will do? Now the role of this particular digit is over. So okay, so we have now added this particular digit, a secret code into our answer variable. Now what we will do? We will take another digit that is 7. Now our r value is 7. Okay, r value is 7 here. When r is odd, we will decrement it by 1. 7 is an odd number. So our new r value has become, after this thing, after this condition, our new r value has become 6. Now again we will update the, uh, again we will update the answer value. It will be, let me just open the eraser. Okay. Okay. So we will update it here. So our value was 6. Right. Just a second. Okay. R value was 6. So our, again our answer will become answer is equal to answer plus r into p. What was our answer? Answer was still 0 plus r into p. That is 6 into p. That is what is p now? It is 10. So now our final answer has become 60. You have got it. Now our final answer has become 60. It has updated to 60 only. Okay. Now what we will do? Wow, the role of this particular 7 is over. Now we will be moving to 6 as a digit. So now our, our value has now become 6 here. Now our R value has become 6 here. Just uh, let's just remove all these things which we will. Okay. So now our R value has become 6 here. Let me just open the pen. Okay. So our value has become 6 here. 6 is even number. Here. R is equal to R plus 1. That, that means after this R will become 7. So our answer value will be answer is equal to answer plus R into P. So now uh, see after previous updation our P value has gone to 100. I forgot to update it. But after 7 was considered our P value was become, became 100. So answer was 60. 60 plus R into P that is 7. 7 into 100. What is 7 into 100? It has become 760. Okay. Till this point is clear. Now our R value has been updated to 760. It has now been updated to 760. Our P is equal to P into 10. That has become 1000. So you can see here. See what was our output? What is the output that we are expecting? What is the output we are accept, uh, expecting? We are accepting 5, 4, 7, 6, 0. This is the output that we are expecting. Now you can see that we have traversed the first 3 digits and you can see the last 3 digits are currently as our answer. So 760 we have in the answer. You can see 760 are present as the last 3 digits. Now if we will continue to follow this logic in a loop. Okay, continue to follow this logic. Then at the end of this number, we will have this value as our answer. Okay, so I hope now the approach is clear to you because I have told you about the first three digits. If we continue to do the same things on the rest of the digits also, then our output value become 54760. Okay, so I hope now this approach was clear to you. Now let us move towards the coding part of this question. Okay, so guys for saving time, I have already written the code for this particular question. What we are doing here, we, this is the main function. Now we are taking input as n, that is the input number that we have to, uh, we have to form the secret code for. Okay. Now we are taking our answer that will give us final answer and we are taking the value of p as I have discussed why we are using p. Okay. Now what we will do, we will have to iterate over every digit of this input number. So for that we are using this while loop and the condition here is whether n value is greater than 0. Okay. I hope the, the, here it is clear. Now we are taking one by one digits. So how we will take it? Int r is equal to n mod 10. So it will give us the last digit. Okay. Now we are checking if our r is positive. Uh, if our r is, uh, sorry, if our r is odd. Then we are doing it r minus 1 and if our r is even then we are doing r plus 1. Okay. So here our r value is getting updated. Now we have to update our answer value also because our r value has got updated. Now we have to update our answer value also. So for that answer what we are using, we are using this formula that is answer is equal to answer plus r into p. Okay. Correct here. So r value will be coming from here and p value was initially 1. So it will be coming here. So this answer value will get updated for the first iteration. Then we are doing p is equal to p into 10. Okay, right? Because why we were doing it? As, as I have shown you in the approach that why we were doing p is equal to p into 10. Next we are doing it. See, we have to, now the role of the, let's just suppose we were initially starting here. Starting from here, that is 1 here. Now our role of our 1 is over. Now we have to move to the next digit, that is 7. So therefore what we are doing, 
we are doing n is equal to n divided by 10. So for that, so by this what we are doing, we are eliminating the last digit of the number until the roll of every digit is over. In, at the end, n value will remain as zero, and this while loop will uh, while loop will condition will break and will simply print out our answer. So I hope now all this coding part was also clear to you. Now let us run on some test cases. That is, here we can see I have written four, five, six, seven, one, and our output should be as we all know what is five, four, seven, six, zero. It should be the output five, four, seven, six, zero. So our uh, so here our code is running for all. I will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. Well, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe this channel and guys, please subscribe this channel because more such videos will be posted in future. And do write in the comment section that yes, you want these type of videos in future. Okay, so guys, thank you for watching it and do share this channel among your friends.